Four children are still in critical condition tonight after this terrible crash in Statesville. The Chopper 9 Sky Zoom flew over this crash yesterday. Reporter Dave Faraday is live now where he's learned some of those injured children were not properly buckled in. Dave? Yes, Scott, we found out from police this afternoon that three of the children were actually ejected from the car. One of the eyewitnesses I talked to earlier today told me that one of the children was thrown into this area over here. We found out from police that the SUV was heading in this direction through the big intersection here when it was struck by a truck. It was the worst thing Isaac James says he has ever seen after police say a woman pulled into the path of a tractor trailer here along Gardner Bagnell Boulevard. James says he ran over to help one of the children thrown from the SUV. There was nothing you can say but just hold on, just hold on, just don't close your eyes because that's all they want them to do. Police say the children ranged in age from a baby to a nine year old. Four of them were airlifted to the hospital with critical injuries. Kyra Curtis lives nearby and goes through the intersection at Rickard Street every day. We are there for only a short time today when we spotted children trying to cross Gardner Bagnell Boulevard on bicycles. It's really bad right here. I'm scared. Look, I'm scared of this stuff. These trucks and stuff. They, they need to put a light right here. Police say the driver of the SUV, Talisa Ramzur, and a fifth child were treated and released from the hospital. The truck driver was not injured in the crash. Christina Curtis also rushed to the scene, and after seeing the wreck, she took video and began praying. Car seats and everything on here, all you could do was pray for, pray for the babies. That's all you could do. And out here at the, at the scene of the wreck, we did find pieces of that SUV. I was walking through just a short time ago and found some of the children's toys like this small matchbox car here in the grass. I asked police earlier about charges in this case. They're telling me at this point they're waiting for their investigation to be completed before deciding on that. Reporting live from Statesville, I'm Dave Faraday, Channel 9. Now back to you. All right, our Dave Faraday live in Statesville. Thank you, Dave.